I've been counting down the days, counting down the days to get out. I've been looking for a way, looking for a way from this town. It's starting to struggle a little bit. Sagan presses on. Bilbao's going to get across. And Ben Swift's resistance is starting to falter here while he's uh, well inside and under the kite now. 900 meters remaining for Peter Sagan. Frustrated already in the first week. And Peter Sagan finally is going to get his first victory of 2020. He's going to get his first victory in Giro d'Italia. And indeed, it has been a truly glorious, truly beautiful success indeed. He calls for the accolade of the crowd. He's certainly going to get that. Put your hands together. Chapeau. Peter Sagan gets victory on stage 10. Away to the line, 600 metres. Nobody wants to close it up. As Kofidis are looking, where is Viviani? Arno Tamar waiting to fire. He's got his moment. And there's been all splits all over the place in the peloton. This could be a really big surprise. Not going to happen for Miles Scottson. It's Peter Sagan just uh, behind Chimelai and it's uh, Arnold Tamar that's going to have to lead out first. Sagan goes for glory. Sagan in the dark colours of Bora Hansko. Ballerini, who's going to throw the bike at the line? I think it might have been Tamar. That was a blanket sprint. It came down to the big dash to the line. Cantor, Max Cantor. So he's there after all and Max Cantor has gone down. Well, there we go. Max Cantor down 700 metres to go little now. Split, little split has emerged because of that crash and here comes Elia Viviani and uh, Consoni trying to pilot him. But the lead out train here, there's that Milano with Gaviria, with the uh, first time we've seen that Gaviria looking good, Consoni looking around to see where Elia Viviani is. Well, that's Consoni, Nikias Arndt is there as well, and on the inside, Ola Milano. Milano, 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 Milano's coming, Gaviria, Sagan, no room on the barrier, Milano goes, is that a lead out or is that a sprint? One Sebastian Milano leading out, Pierre Sagan, Gaviria on his wheel now, here they come, Sagan hits the front, Gaviria trying to get out of the slipstream of Peter Sagan, almost alongside him, but it's going to be Peter Sagan, who wins once again at the Giro d'Italia. Almost, almost launching an attack, getting onto the wheel of Thomas, right at the sharp end of things, waiting, biding his time, hits the front, not far now until they'll turn right-handed, but there goes Sagan! On the inside, he launches his attack, he has survived all the climbs, he is there when it matters, once again in the rainbow jersey, his arms will go aloft any second now as he takes victory from Thibaut Pino in second place, Roglic of the line in third, Thomas fourth place, Monomer in fifth, Uran Dumoulin, the blue jersey of Quintana safely home, but victory once again goes to the brilliant. He's on to a move here by Kwiatkowski, that surprised everybody. He's aiming for the front now and now has Peter Sagan in his sights. Sagan the world champion, just as you wanted it. And Peter Sagan is finding energy from deep, deep down underneath that world championship jersey. 18 seconds for Peter Sagan, it's not shifting, it's not budging. Peter Sagan is going to do it. It's the 100th edition, he's there, the rainbow jersey on show. Peter Sagan makes it a fairy tale edition of the Ronde of Vlaanderen. And after six hours, ten minutes, that is quite a show for the greatest showman that cycling has in the modern era. Calling me, calling me